Officials at local medical research institutes are reacting today after a sudden change was issued last week by the National Institute of Health that would cap grant funding for indirect costs. News 8's Megan Bunchman explains what that could mean moving forward. Michigan's Attorney General Dana Nessel joining about 20 other AGs from across the country in a lawsuit yesterday that would block the Trump administration's effort to cut NIH funding. Those cuts would put a cap on how much grant funding goes to medical research groups, quote, indirect cost, which covers a wide variety of maintenance orders, lab staffing, and infrastructure upkeep. Now, a spokesperson with the Michigan State University told News 8 that the funding reduction would result in the loss of $27 million they've already allotted for, adding, quote, that this reduction would have a significant impact on research efforts. If this funding cap does go into effect following this federal lawsuit, that could impact research going on right now in downtown Grand Rapids. In the newsroom, I'm Megan Bunchman, News 8.